Hey, what's up, guys? So, up next, we're gonna do Trump Stares Down Man in KKK Shirt. Um, so, to me, this just might give some credibility to all the people who are saying Trump is not racist. At least a little bit. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at this, y'all. Kate in San Francisco, who was killed. Kate. They're pointing at somebody. I don't know. Maybe they're pointing at the guy with a KKK shirt or something. I don't know. What's going on here, y'all? What are they pointing at? <laughs> that, that is pretty funny. So it said KKK Trump endorses or something. So... Let's see, KKK uh, endorses Trump, okay? <laughs> um, look, you got a marker and drew on a shirt. Everybody else has sh shirts that are professionally made. You got a t-shirt and drew on it. <laughs> uh, people ain't got no common sense anymore, y'all. You really think you're part of the KKK? I don't think so. Let's see what Trump does. are you doing oh look he didn't even go to look at him is he okay yeah he looked away at first you see in the good old days Law enforcement acted a lot quicker than this. A lot quicker. In the good old days, they'd rip him out of that seat so fast. But today, everybody's politically correct. Our country's going to hell with being politically correct. All right, so look. Uh, Trump didn't seem to like that guy having that shirt on um all right <laughs> like i said you know uh now it could be that trump just messes up you know his words that's what it could be. If we're really going to understand, right? We can't really do an analysis on Trump's mannerisms and his his dialogue without understanding the context behind what he's saying. Because it's not always uh, black and white. You might say, stand back and stand by. But maybe the context of that is, 
stop. Just maybe. Um, that might be what was going on there. But for all of the people not on Trump's side, which I'm not, um, but I do try to find, uh, you know, the good in everybody. So, and, and that's something that a lot of people can't do. If you're not on Trump's side, most of the people uh, cannot listen to anything that says something good about Trump. So, although I do not really support Trump, I do try and find good in everybody. Um, except when it comes out that they're just a low-life piece of dirt. Like Andrew Cuomo. So, anything that says Andrew Cuomo was a good person, I'm not going to listen to it. Now, if it's something that says he didn't do the, the things that he was accused of, I'll take a look at it, even though uh, I don't think that would be accurate. You know, I, to me, it looks like everything they said he is, that's what he was doing. It could be that his words gets messed up as they're coming out. Uh, of course, take it into consideration. He is... Uh, you know, he's getting on up there. So, he is 75 years old. <laughs> that could be a big part of it, y'all. Uh, I mean, really? For being 75? Uh, you really... Like, physically and even his speech, you can't really tell that he's that old. Uh, so that could have, you know, still some, it, it could be starting to catch up with him a little bit, is what I'm saying. You know, it could be that he's has trouble, like, putting his sentences together, and then instead of, like, stuttering or taking too long, and he just kind of forces it out, and it's not the way he wanted it, um... And he does have a really huge ego. And maybe his ego says, no, we're just going to let it go. We're just going to keep on rolling. And we're not going to, like, say, hey, wait a minute, I said that wrong. Right? But at the same time, I really got to say, you know, if you say something wrong, don't have such an ego that you can't correct it. Never do that. That's the worst thing you could do. You know, if he meant to say stop, period, then he really should have, you know, added that in there. After it came out wrong, then he should have said, I, what I meant to say was stop. One word would have been so much better then stand back and stand by. Uh, in other words, stand ready in case this thing goes sour. That's the way a lot of people took that comment. Uh, I don't know what to think about it personally. I think stop would have been so much better um y'all let me know what y'all think though and something else that i want to show y'all i think y'all are going to get a kick out of this look at there the video we just watched was from cnn 
supposedly the network that hates Trump and hates conservatives. And they just gave me some doubts about whether or not Trump uh, is racist. So how do you like that? CNN put out a positive video about Trump. Um, now maybe they have some anchors there that are genuine and honest. And then if they do, then I would say we can't say CNN is fake news. We could say some anchors are. If we find out exactly which ones, then we could say, well, this anchor, this anchor, and that anchor, they're fake news. You know, but we can't just lump everyone up in one category and say, well, we saw a video from CNN that was fake news. So now CNN is fake news. No, it doesn't work that way. Um, if, however, like 90% of everything CNN puts out is fake news, then we can call CNN fake news. That's a much safer bet then, right, to say it. But there needs to be, you know, enough of it to really call it that. Alright, I will see y'all in the next video. Until then, I'm out.